wow, amazing. Uh, real quick, man, uh, I mean, that hook, I, it, I don't know what it is. It gives me like an old school feel to what I'm in from. But it, the, the hook is not hip hop. It don't really sound no <laughs> like, nothing like hip hop. And what I, what I was explaining to you, which I'm telling the people on the air right now, is uh, is that, uh, what, uh, which mic? Wait, number two? Okay, go. Uh, uh, yeah, there it goes. Uh, and like, I'm hearing it, and it goes straight from hip hop, da, 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 boom, then it goes to this, da, 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 like, <laughs> like, whoa, like, <laughs> It totally, like you like flip the script, you know, like a DJ, and then just right. throws in another song. It sounds like two songs in there, but it just it goes so good together that it's um, it's an awesome song. Thanks, man. I love that hook, by the way. Um, Thank you. Let's get a preview. What did you want to talk about that song? You want to oh, say something about it? Yeah, just that, uh, I, you know, when I first put it together and I thought to myself, this song, the, the chorus almost sounds like maybe country or something. Yeah, yeah, it's like I think so. Yeah, it's like, but even before I had Amber on it, I was already thinking that. I was like, oh, this is like a, and then she added, this is Amber Lee Baker, the singer on this song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she added this whole new cool element. I'm gonna have to make sure she sees this. Yes, uh, yes. Shout her out, um, Amber Lee Baker. It's amazing, uh, man. Her, her amazing woman. Her I mean. band <laughs> is actually called Amber Lee and the Anomalies. Oh, was yeah. her band on there or just her, right? Uh, just her. It's, oh, okay. it's sort of her solo act slash, yeah. it's her artist name. Or artist her name. website is right. Amber Lee and the Anomalies. Amber Lee Anomalies. Yeah. So anyway, but um, Amber Lee is, you know, before she was even on it, it was already had this sort of unusual vibe to it. And then, it she, did. then she recorded it and sang it and, and I just said, wow, that is cool. And I just went with it. Yeah, it's so. awesome. I love it. You know, and it's great. I can definitely play more of it. I love that chorus, man. And, uh. It, man, shout out to your girl, man, that did that. that I did will part pass it along and also, you know, invite her on the show. She, went she, she actually lives in the Bay. She oh. lives in the East Bay. Let's get her in, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. And um, congratulations, man. It's a really awesome song. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm glad. I'm so glad. You know, it's funny because I'll just say one last thing about this song. When I was first recording it, yeah, like a while ago, before I released it, I, yeah. I remember just being real, just not satisfied. And then it was so great to redo it yeah. last year and have her on it. Yes. And everything, and even uh, another friend of mine, Rob Kennedy's his drumming, his drums. Right. It just added something, so it was very satisfying to mm. see this song come together. Come to life. Come to life. Come together and come to life. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Uh, I would love to see a video to that too. I'm yeah, that would love be, to see a video to all of them. But that would be my my next choice as well as Tickle Pink. Yeah. Um, well, that's an awesome the, uh, song too. Yeah, those two right there. Yeah. Um, let's like said, we want to talk about the themes of the song. You said that you had a storyline to every song. Um, if you want to give a, uh, we'll just go down the list. Um, I know we talked about a couple of them already, but yeah, you know. Okay, well, well, here's the deal. This this album is actually a concept album. Concept, a concept album. That means every song actually is part of the concept of like these love songs, these love yeah. and relationships. And every song actually talks about a different quality that uh, I I think like should be there in a good relationship yeah and uh or at least relationships in general um so the first song thank you baby is all really about gratitude mm. and gratitude so thank you baby gratitude right gratitude. gratitude needs to be there i think it does the next song is you called you are love mm -hmm. and that's really about compassion mm -hmm. you know having compassion for other people having compassion for yourself mm -hmm. and sort of that that's an important quality in, in friendships and relationships i've found and i think a lot of people you know uh, say that I hear a lot of people talk about it a lot and right. so compassion third song tickle pink uh, is a, really a song about humility or like being able to say when you're in when you're wrong mm -hmm. and just be open to learning yes and like and and so the song is like sometimes you have to ask for back That's okay what it means but it's like being able to admit when you're wrong it's another important quality in, in a relationship that's great that's great fearless heart is about is really about courage it's about having the courage uh, to um, and realizing yeah. that you are you are being courageous just by being alive. It's yes, like it actually takes a lot to be alive, and so it's about it's about acknowledging your courage. Mm -hmm. Snuggle Bunny is about fun and affection. Mm -hmm. Okay, Snuggle Bunny is just this fun song, yeah. and it's sort of sarcastic in the end there, but it's really about fun. Yeah. So another, all these are good qualities in a relationship. We need these different qualities to right. be alive and just yeah. to have things work. You know, and then You're My Lover, So Come On Over is about passion, it's about inspiration, it's about having the 
you know, this quality that is needed in a relationship, especially like a romantic relationship, you know, passion or being inspired. It's sort of about being inspired by by your the muse. Like this whole album was inspired. And brother Jonas is on it. Not my the brother, Jonas my, Brothers, but <laughs> brother <laughs> your brother Jonas. Yes, my brother Jonas is, is sings on that one. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're guest stars on all these songs. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I like how you put it all in there. By the way, you got everybody's name on there. With oh, I'll yeah. show the camera, but go. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh yeah, no problem, no problem. Uh, so what I'm saying is, you're my lover, so come on over. Is about passion and inspiration. The next right. song, Our Love, which mm -hmm. you just heard, just played, yeah. is really at the, at the end of the day, it's about trust. Mm -hmm. That's about trust. So and I started at the very beginning of the song. Before us, it was not about trust, you know. Mm. And it's a the whole song is really about trusting uh, and give, allowing yourself to surrender to to someone else or something else. And, and that's honestly these are sort of like poems of things that I've learned over the last several years. <laughs> nice. Being with my woman. And so anyway, the last song here with you. I'm home. Uh, like the title suggests, is really about. It's like about being devotion and devotion. being devoted and you know obviously that sense of being at home with someone and right. that you're devoted to in this sense and so every song has one of these themes in it and I'll tell you the truth I didn't realize it until I looked at it all and I said wow these all work together they are all part of a concept. United, united concept they all have different concepts so uh, in other words you listen to this album you'll be on your path to having great relationships <laughs> That's what it means. That's what it is. The name of the album right here is called um, I Love You, Chris Coslo. Uh I met this guy over here at the Pro Tools class. For a long story short, he was in a Pro Tools class. Met him out here at Chabot College. Uh, we worked with ever since, man. Uh, great, uh, he plays a great piano. Uh, was doing classical at that time and recording Pro Tools. And uh, just, man, man, then we clicked up, started making beats in the uh, cafeteria. Security kicked us out because my amp was so loud. and. It was like, you're distracting us. But um, it was great though. After that, we went back to the house and recorded a couple of songs as well. And uh, and now you got a lot of other stuff going on. And this is great, man. And I'm gr I'm glad to be part of this project. Thanks, man. Yes. Well, I am glad you are a part of this project. Yes. You know what? I am so glad you're yeah. a part of this project. Yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad that I'm back yeah. in the Bay and that we're, that yeah. we're kicking it. Yeah. Because this is red. It's red. <laughs> so it's so red. That's what's up. So uh, Chris Doswell's in the building, man. Um, uh, those are the whole concepts of all the songs and the whole album that he got, right? The, the whole uh, theme, you said, of all the songs. And that's great. Great themes, great concepts, uh, 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 overall great uh, production and um, features. Awesome. So uh, I guess we could go to the yeah. last song that you said you wanted to go into, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm going to let you introduce that. Okay. So the last song I wanted to play for tonight is called Here With You, I'm Home. And uh, this song is... Um, like I said just a moment ago, sort of about the whole like being at home with someone, and I really think it does boil down to to devotion and commitment. And uh, you know, uh, this song literally is the newest of the songs. Mm -hmm. I wrote it last year, uh, like around this time of the year, actually. And I was literally just hanging out with my wife, and then the, the song I did just popped up. This idea like in my pop head. Tart in the toaster. Yeah, it started out as pop. a piano thing. It started out with the piano, I started laying down the piano, but then the words started to kind of suggest themselves. Yes. And then pretty within probably a week of like coming back and forth, coming sitting down every so often, or I don't know how it was, a couple days or a week. And then all of a sudden I, I finished the song, Here Is Your Home, and I said, this is going to be her, her song for this, yeah. for this, for her birthday. I'm going to give it to her, but then I ended up giving it to her like two months early, cause at our show playing it for, for her. birthday, yeah. And then I surprised her with an actual album for yeah. her birthday, and that was a big surprise. Which was this it. one. This album before I decided to release it. Man, yeah. All I gotta say is, man, uh, Chris Goslow does this. You you actually do like music albums. Chris, you had a Christmas album. Uh, you got like holiday albums, birthday albums, and like like your whole family is musical. Like I even I DJ your wedding, so. I, off, I just off top and um, yeah. like his whole family. I mean, they're singing, they're dancing, <laughs> playing instruments, and I'm like, wow, this is a real musical family. And yeah. um, and um, you, it's crazy because you guys all sing together, and it's it, it's like awesome experience to see uh, you all you guys do that. Like even with the Christmas albums and 
carols and and you've been coming to me like all the time with it, but you officially put something together this time. Oh yeah, well this was so different because yeah. those, those are basically family projects that I do. Family Partly projects. because I, I have two nieces and yeah. I and I have wanted to help some, you know yeah. expose them to the music, music and yeah. recording and yeah, yeah. and also just uh, you know and support a family. My dad, my my sister, my even my wife has gotten into it. My brother, we've all gotten into yeah. recording something now and then, and it's a great fun thing for me as someone very interested in recording anyway. Yes. Yes. So that's sort of how it started. Yeah. And then I read these songs for my for my my wife for her birthday. Yeah. And but then this time it was something else. Yeah. This time I got the idea to involve other people. Yes. And that's when it started. That's when it took on a new transition, a new level. Yeah. The next level. The next level. <laughs> exactly. And so that's why all the guest artists and everything just happened the way it did, sort of in the spirit of, yeah, those kind of like group projects that I've yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. I've done other compilations before. You know a lot, yeah, I know. So anyway. But this uh, is the first one that actually came out, like as a CD. Well, other than the, I, other than I mean, my, you got the other the ones too. Eclipse compilation. Eclipse, but the, uh, the piano one. Yeah, the uh, piano album. Waterfall. Yeah. That's great too. But this is sort of like an original compilation in a way. It's a compilation. Well, I, I look at it like this is your album. It's like, not I, an album. It's not it a compilation, like, but it's features. just that it has a lot of features. But I think that makes it stand out more because yeah. I mean, it, the features you actually wrote some of the features. Features. I wrote everything except your verse right. and then Martin Lord Lab's verse and stuff. But Buddy. but that's what I'm saying though. You've actually all these singing parts are your you. Yeah, written I wrote those. So I mean, yeah, this is your album. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, oh yeah, it's totally my album. It's just it's funny because it has this. It's sort of a unusual album still. It's still you know? awesome. But I'll tell you the uh, uh, the next song you're gonna play. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of original music, right, right. The artist who put his music his his uh, signature on this is right. a guitarist, a good friend of mine. Yes. And he he came. This is all his original. I mean, playing. And he's a virtuoso guitarist, like right. a really great guitarist, and yeah. it's so great to work with him on this. Yeah. And so this is Dario Napoli who's going to perform uh, with me, and I'm singing and I'm playing piano. Yeah. This is not a hip-hop song. Hip -hop. Not hip-hop. It's hip -hop. more of a ballad. Like I was telling you, I, I it sort of came out, uh, just came to me last year, and I wrote it on the piano, and I wrote the lyrics. And I've been having a lot of fun with this song, singing it and performing right. it out. And you've uh, also written like scripts to like Rappera, which is a, uh, what is that? Oh, right. A movie well, or music, uh, musical? Well, basically it was, uh, you know, a musical. A musical, yeah. like With a an opera, opera, opera slash rap kind yeah. of quality to it, yeah.